Ladies and gentlemen and athletes of all kind, in this video I'm going to teach you how to use French contrast training to take yourself or take your athletes to the next level. But as always, before we get started, comment jump, J-U-M-P down below in the comment section if you want a free body weight vertical jump training program. And if you want my advanced weight training vertical jump programs and upper body programs, the link will be down below in the pinned comment and in the description below. But let's get into this video, ladies and gentlemen. French contrast training is by far, I'm trying to think about it. Yes, French contrast training is by far the most effective training method that I have ever used with myself and with my athletes to take them to the next level. For advanced athletes, this is an advanced training technique. This is not for beginners or intermediate. So what I consider advanced is if you've been training for three or more years consistently, then you would be advanced and you can tap into French contrast training. Guys, it is the mo it is it is just and I didn't want it to be. Listen, I have a friend named Drew who was going through his master's degree, getting his master's degree in sports performance, and he kept saying to me, Nate, you need to look into this French contrast stuff. And I'm like, I'm like, bro, I am getting my athletes wild results. I am getting them so many results. There is nothing that you could show me that would get my athletes more results than I am already getting them. What a silly way to think, right? What a naive way to be. So I, I, thought, I thought to myself, I'm a learner, right? I'm open-minded, let me check this stuff out. And thank God, thank God that I actually checked it out because guys, French contrast training is the real deal. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about what it is. I'm gonna talk about when to use it and how to use it. And I'm gonna give you a lower body example and an upper body example of how to implement French contrast training into your own programming. So here we go. French contrast training is a combination of complex training methods and contrast training methods. So complex training would be a heavy near maximal load between 80 and 90% of your one rep max, like a back squat between 80 and 90% of your one rep max, followed immediately by a plyometric jump. If you're in my members programs, because believe it or not, a lot of my members actually watch my videos. So if you are part of my members programs, my advanced training programs, you'll see plenty of times where I program a back squat immediately followed by either box jumps or or explosive, uh, explosive step ups or another explosive plyometrics. That is complex training. Contrast training is just like hitting a drop set. I remember in my bodybuilding days, we would put on 225 on the bench press and we rep it out as many times as we can. Then we take off the 45s, put on the 25s, and we rep out 185 as much as we can. Then we take off the 25s, and we rep out 135. Then you take off the 45s, put on the 25, you rep out 95, then you take it off, you turn the bar and you could barely lift the bar because you did all these drop sets. I drank an energy drink before this, so. I'm, I'm always a weirdo, but I'm especially weird today. But anyways, guys, contrast training is just a near maximal load, 80 to 90% of your one rep max on a compound lift like the bench press, the squat, the deadlift, followed by a drop set of around 50 to 70% of your one rep max. So complex training and contrast training are both meant to take advantage of PAP, post-activation potentiation. You do a heavy weighted movement, and then you do a drop set or a plyometric jump, and be because you just did the heavy movement, your body is ready to go heavy again, but you don't give it something heavy. You give it either a plyometric or a lighter set, and you are able to take advantage of max velocity in that case. So French contrast training is a combination. It is best of both worlds. It is complex training and contrast training combined. They are married into one method that gets you insane results. So the first exercise in French contrast training is always a heavy compound lift between 80 and 90% of your one rep max. It is a near, the hell was that? It is a heavy near maximal load with a compound movement like a bench press, a squat, or a deadlift. Then the second exercise is a plyometric jump and a more advanced plyometric jump like a depth jump or a hurdle jump. Then the third exercise we are tapping into contrast training now, we are going to use a sub maximal load. So you could either do a squat with lighter weight or what I like to do is a weighted jump like a dumbbell squat jump. And then the last exercise is an 
accelerated plyometric jump, like a band assisted plyometric jump or sprints, or if you can't do either of those, then you could do box jumps. And if you can't do box jumps, I would do tuck jumps. But those are the four exercises in a row. So heavy maximal load, plyometric jump, sub maximal load or a weighted jump, and then a band accelerated or an accelerated, uh, a fast plyometric. And then those will be the four exercises that make up the French contrast training giant set. So I basically just gave you a lower body example of French contrast training. What I like to do is a heavy back squat followed by depth jumps or hurdle jumps followed by dumbbell squat jumps or trap bar jumps followed by band assisted squat jumps or sprints or box jumps or tuck jumps. I always say or, or, or because people say, well, I can't do band assisted jumps. I say, all right, we'll do sprints. I don't have room to do sprints. All right, we'll do box jumps. I'm training in my garage. My head will hit the ceiling. Well then do tuck jumps, okay? Just some plyometric that you could do at the end there. An upper body example would be the bench press followed by plyo push-ups followed by a neutral grip explosive dumbbell bench press, followed by band assisted plyo push-ups. And that would be a good example of an upper body giant set that utilizes French contrast training. Now, one more gold nugget of knowledge that I wanna tell you guys is that I use this, I use French contrast training during my max strength phase. And that's the only time I use it, during my max strength phase because we need to be lifting heavy to utilize French contrast training. That first exercise has to be a near maximal load. So the first thing, if, if you get my members programs, the first thing that we ever, I'm gonna ask you, do you have knee pain? If you do have knee pain, we're going through a knee strengthening phase. We're gonna knock that out of the park before it even becomes a bigger issue. So first phase I ever go through or put my athletes through is a knee strengthening phase. Then we do a building phase between 50 and 80% of your one rep max for most of our movements. Then we get into a max strength phase where it's 80 to 95% of your one rep max are the loads that we are using. And that is where I utilize French contrast training. Then I take you through a strength speed phase and then a peaking phase and you're just yakao. Yeah, wow. dunking on anybody any way that you want. But guys, trainers, athletes, and coaches of all kind, this is how you use French contrast training to take yourself or your athletes to the next level. Like, comment, subscribe, holler back at your boy, get my advanced training programs down below, pin comment in the description of this video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Young beast mode from the East Coast. A young kid with a West Coast feel, and I don't even know how the West Coast feel. I'm from where it's cold, the city made of steel, where a lot of Fold, only couple keep it real right Back seal, keep it real tight Keep two L's just like Cool J My heart's cold as Ice Cube Praying it's a good day I'm at a crossroads, but in a good way I